We are here on the site of Mike Peebles, Peebles Originals. At one time, if you wanted a kit to build a crystal radio or a tube radio or a transistor radio, this was the place to go. It says here Mike's been building radios since 1988, 34 years ago. And then he wrote the Peebles Choice column in the Crystal Set Society newsletter. Unfortunately, as of May 2020, he was no longer accepting orders. The last time I spoke with him, he said he was having old man problems, but he didn't elaborate on what that was. Unfortunately, he passed away on January 18th, 2022. Now, the website's still active. You can't purchase anything, but there's still a lot of information on here. And he's got all of the instructions for all of his kits posted. So there's one in particular I'm interested in. We'll just scroll down here. Here it is, the AM Shortwave Crystal Radio Kit. And you can download the manual with this link. Now that's a pretty cool looking radio, even in the drawing. Parts list, all the instructions. And here's the um, directions for winding the spiderweb coil. There's the faceplate, and you print that out and you uh, glue it to your radio when you're done building it. Now here's the uh, schematic. It's a pretty simple set, except that those dotted lines on the left mean that you can change the coupling between the coils. I sure wish I could get one of these kits. I got this box in the mail yesterday from a guy named Vic Rodriguez who says that inside the box is a reproduction of a Mike Peebles crystal radio kit. 11.75 just to mail it. It only weighs a pound, one pound, 2.3 ounces. Oh wait, it's 2.30 ounces. No wonder the postage is so high. And I've also got these things. These are like the diffusers from a, the lights under a microwave oven. And I'm gonna use those to do state-of-the-art special effects. So those light diffusers are usually located on the bottom of a microwave oven. Here's uh, two from our current oven. The ones on, on the table came from our old oven and they just diffuse the light. The box is from Victor Rodriguez. Now, Rodriguez has a U in it, but I never pronounce the U. I don't think most people do. It's just Rodriguez. I've never met Vic or spoken to him on the phone, so I'll have to ask him about that. All right, we're opening the box. Let's see what we have here. Instructions. Ooh. The PO-101 AM shortwave crystal radio kit assembly instructions. Prototype test cut board, 1 16th inch thick plastic. Whoa! That is nice. Oh, it's etched in there. In the original kit, it was just a piece of paper that you glued to the front panel. I've got some dial scales to, these go to a different radio. Wow, very high quality. I think that's why he included them. These are from Modern Radio Labs. These are from Carl De Beer. Carl D. Beer. Wow, did he make that? I'm glad Vic used uh, blue tape 
when I rule the world, it will be punishable by death to use clear plastic tape on bubble wrap. There's a nice variable capacitor. Well, that's really smooth. There's all the other parts for the kit. They included the magnet wire for the coil. Wow, a very nice laser cut base. I guess that's the base. That's the base. Oh, another laser cut front panel. <coughs> and there's the front panel laser cut also. Very nice. There's no money, there's no letter in here. Wait, ooh, the coil forms, wow. Wow, look at that, look how, how cleanly they're cut. That's Vic and his, his laser cutting machine. Nice. Look, there's more pieces in here. Got two of these. And one of those. A wooden dowel. But that's all. So I think <clears throat> that goes like that. And this goes like this. And it goes like that. Can't forget the parts, the radio parts. Very nice, thank you, Vic. I'm laying these parts out to take a picture. Man, there's a lot of parts in this little bag.